What's going on, beer tubers? Eric coming back at you with yet another beer review and yet another local beer. Um, I think it's really fun to review these local beers. Yeah. And tonight we're looking at a, another beer in the Noble Star collection from August Shells Brewing Company. They are German craft beer. Mm -hmm. And this series is dedicated to exploring the interpretations and historical perspectives of Berliner Weiss. And you'll have seen that I reviewed the first... Uh, forget the name of the Noble Star, um, just the typical traditional sense style on Berliner Weiss, and mm. then most recently Frambois du Nord, which I gave very high remarks for, the raspberry one, and this is their North Country Brunette, and it this is an interesting one because it's a, a Berlin-style Merzen wheat ale, so it, it kind of incorporates the uh, Oktoberfest take in a Berliner Weiss, which I think is strange yet fascinating. And if anyone's going to do it right, it's going to be August Shells. So these bottles are a little pricey, but they're cork. I believe they're hand corked and caged. Um, this one clocks in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. I'm going to go ahead and get it poured up here. Um, I've heard really, really, really nice things about this one. And I'm pouring this one in the 45-ish, uh, almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But it pours out a really unfiltered, oaky, murky-looking Oktoberfest. Uh, really, really nice tight white lacing all around the glass. Um, yeah, it just looks... Yeah, it, it says it's unfiltered. It's aged in cypress wood vats, I believe. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, cypress wood lagering tanks from 1936. And funny enough, they do talk about authentic mixture or mixture of cultured of yeast, lactobacillus, and brett. So I expect this one to be a little bit more sour than its previous counterparts. Let's get the nose on it. Oh, wow. Wow. Mmm. Kind of... Oh, what does that remind me of? It's got a really, really, like, uh, Lambic-style nose. I get some of that just funkiness. Um, this is really, really unique. Uh, there's that, you know, there's that funkiness. There's that tart, dry, acidic. There's some cherry notes, some vanilla from the oak. Or the wood, I should say. Yeah, picking up a lot of cherry. It kind of reminds me of pentagram in a way. But much, much more complex. Um, wow. Yeah, definitely picking up a lot of that wheat. Uh, caramel notes mute from that Munich malt, I would assume. Just really, really a nice smelling beer. Let's get the taste. Cheers. Wow. That's cool. Um, instantly, I get this uh, crisp, dry, uh, caramel-filled mouthfeel of a traditional Oktoberfest, um, and then it just goes straight into this tart, dry, acidic, um, really, really, really refreshing uh, Berliner Weiss style. Yeah, notes of that, like... In a good way, a green apple. You get a lot of this, like, um, rich fruit skin, if you will. Almost like tart cherries. Uh, yeah, but there's just that that base uh, Meritzen styles. Really, really balanced with the uh, tartness and the sourness of the beer, this beer. This is, this is very surprisingly very drinkable and very delicious. Yeah, I'm, I can't wait to see what these guys keep doing. August Shells, hats off to you. You keep brewing and wowing me. Every time you put something out, you know, it may not be a barrel-aged Imperial Stout. But this is stuff that I appreciate because there's so much care in such a bottle like this. And and so much love and passion for the arts of brewing. And, and it's got some historical perspective. And it's just, I think this is worth picking up for everyone. Um... Casey and Ryan, I've got one coming your way. 
So you'll at least get to try it on the West Coast there. Hopefully you can share it with some friends and everyone else can kind of see the uniqueness of this beer. So um, I ranked Frambro Frambois du Nord pretty high. I ranked the first one in the Noble Star collection um, very highly. And I, I think this one goes right in that tune. I'm going a 97 out of 100. I think it blends stylistically a uh, uh, German Meritzen beer and a Berliner Weiss, traditionally, and I think it does it so well and captures all entities of it. it it's, it's borderline perfect. So if you can get your hands on it, this is something to definitely seek out and try and trade for. I would happily do that for you guys. Uh, I believe this bottle was $15, so this is a little on the spendy side, but it's worth it when you you get something like this. So Thanks for joining me for another more traditional solo beer review. I've had a lot of group and fun reviewing beers with my buddy John and Kurt. And so thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.